JLo has officially canceled her summer tour. This year is just not getting any better for her, and as much as her team has tried to push this tour and tweak it to boost ticket sales, it seems nothing was saving this show. Jennifer already had to cancel some tour dates due to the low demand for her comeback tour, and they even rebranded it to be a greatest hits show since the tour just being themed around her latest album was not selling the way they had hoped. But it looks like things just did not end up working out for her. Or maybe they did because she was on Good Morning America a few weeks ago and she said that she had wished that she actually had the summer off, which people noted at the time wasn't exactly helping ticket sales knowing that she didn't seem too excited to be going on tour. But now it kind of feels like her wishes are coming true. Also about to head out on tour. I so am. exciting. Summertime tour, I know. You obviously do not need sleep. I do, I do. <laughs> I, wish, I wish I could have had the summer off, but um, we're gonna do, a, it, it's a small tour. It's like 28 shows, I'm excited about That's it. That's it? That's a yeah. small one? That's a yeah. small tour? <laughs> yes, it is, believe it or not. It is a small tour, so I'm going to, uh, you know, hit a few cities and I'm excited. I haven't been out for years, I think since 2019. Now, apparently the reason that she gave in order to cancel the tour was that she wanted to spend more time with her kids this summer. And that is also something that she went into talking about on Good Morning America. What about the kids? Well, the, uh, your, your yes, you know, we've been there. negotiating really six, that. We've 16. been negotiating that. It's like, okay, you come for, I'm out for like two months, right? From like June to like August. So I was like, you have to come for the whole month of July. You can like go to camp and do whatever you want with your friends in June. And then in the end of August, right before you start school, you can go back and like hang out with your friends again, but you have to come with mommy for a little while. I feel like this is the last time that I'll get to do something like this with them. They're 16. They have that last oh, And next time they're gonna yeah. just be like, no mom, no. Yeah. You know, so I'm just, I'm gonna use the last little bit of force I have over the control <laughs> to be like, you have to come at least for a little while. Rolling Stone shared her exact statement that she sent out in her newsletter to her fans that said, I'm completely heartsick and devastated about letting you down, Lopez said in a statement. Please know that I wouldn't do this if I didn't feel that it was absolutely necessary. I promise I will make it up to you and we will all be together again. I love you so much until next time. The newsletter also noted that fans who purchase their concert tickets via Ticketmaster will automatically be refunded. Live Nation shared their own statement, which several news outlets reported on, writing, Jennifer is taking time off, Live Nation announced May 31st, to be with her children, family, and close friends. Some feel as though this decision is as a result of a number of factors, not just from the tour not selling out, but also because there's been speculation surrounding her marriage to Ben Affleck and if the two are on the rocks. Divorce rumors have been going around for the last month now, with people unsure of their current status. But if things aren't all good between the two of them, it might just be another reason why she wouldn't want to go on tour, because the latest album she released is all in dedication to her and Ben's love story, and the fact that they came back together after all these years. She talked about this in her documentary that it was him that inspired her to get back into the studio and start making this album. And so for her to go out there and perform these songs while they might be splitting up probably isn't for the best. The two have been seen out in public together recently, despite everything being said. This week, they were captured by the paparazzi attending a family event together for Ben's daughter. And not too long ago, they were seen out with his son. But before this, a few weeks ago, the couple hadn't been seen out in public together since March, which is why the rumors started in the first place that they might be on the rocks headed for divorce. But despite Ben being pictured sleeping in a separate house, the two have since tried to get those paparazzi pictures together in one place this month, which people have felt was to quiet some of the rumors. And maybe this summer will be a time for her to quiet all the things that have come out and been said about her this year because there's honestly been a lot. And it does feel like she's been trying to kind of address a few things that's been going viral for her this year recently. So maybe the tour was the last thing that she needed to just end before taking a little break and kind of restarting. Because maybe that's what she needs, just a little reset from this year. I mean, there's just been so much that's come out from her going viral to the tour, to her and Ben. And now that the tour has been canceled and her and Ben have been trying to like quiet down some things by getting photos together, there was only really one more thing left for her to address and that's what what she's been going viral for. So she's letting everybody know once and for all what the heck that orange drink she was talking about in that one clip that went around online. It really started on TikTok, but JLo was seen in a Vogue 73 questions video where she was asked her bodega order and it just blew up. People were judging her for always trying to seem relatable and it always just making her seem more out of touch. And people felt like JLo had been making all these references to the Bronx and running up and down the block and that 
she only said these things to come off as relatable and it just like was completely missing. And so this Vogue clip resurfaced. It wasn't even filmed this year, but it just resurfaced because this whole conversation. And in it, she was asked her bodega order and people totally clowned her because she said that it was ham and cheese on a roll, a small bag of chips and this orange drink talking about if you know, you know. And what was your go-to order at the bodega? My go-to order at the bodega was ham and cheese on a roll with an orange drink, if you know, you know, and a small bag of chips. And everybody was like, what is she talking about? Like, is she even from the Bronx? Has she ever even been to the bodega? Because nobody knows what orange drink she's talking about. And they were just clowning her feeling like it was another one of those times where she was pretending to be relatable when nobody knew what she was talking about. And it just made her seem like she was trying too hard. So Harper's Bazaar in an interview with JLo this week wanted to get to the bottom of what she was talking about. And JLo fessed up. She said what the orange drink was that she had been describing in this video. She told Harper's Bazaar, haha, I know there was a lot of talk about it, but the orange drink was basically, it's just a plain orange drink. It came in a little plastic container with a little bit of aluminum foil over it, and it wasn't called anything except orange drink or grape drink or whatever. There was orange, a grape, and a fruit punch. And that's why I said, if you know, you know, because you bought it in the bodega, and I used to go after school and get that for like, I mean, this is many, many years ago. It was worth 25 cents, and I got it with a bag of potato chips, and that was like my after school treat for myself. And it seems this is the drink that she was talking about. And I gotta say, I see why she called it the orange drink because I don't know what else to call this, but the mystery seems to be solved here. So now that this is cleared up, I guess she can try to have the best little peaceful summer break known to mankind, but who knows? Cause this year it just seems like every week there is something new going on with JLo. I will say though, on a positive note that the movie that she did on Netflix has done some numbers according to Variety. Jennifer Lopez's Atlas was the most watched title on Netflix for the week of May 20th to the 26th, reaching 28.2 million viewers in its first three days of availability the movie stars Lopez in the title role as she investigates a fugitive AI terrorist played by Simu Liu. Despite the co-star drama people felt they saw between her and Sterling K. Brown, it seems this has been one of the more positive projects for JLo this year, maybe not reviews wise, but at least for the numbers, they are there for her. But speaking of numbers though, they may not be on her side with this Vegas residency I'd previously mentioned earlier this week as they were banking on her tour to kind of see what a residency would be like for her. And now that the tour is canceled, that might not be on the table anymore. MGM and Resorts World were battling over where JLo would be doing a potential residency and they got the deal up to $1 million for 90 shows. At first it was reported that MGM had teamed up with Live Nation to offer more than $800,000 a show. And then Resorts World upped the bidding to $875,000 per show in partnership with AEG. MGM and Live Nation then brought that deal way up to, like I said, a million dollars. And with a deal like that, it seemed like this is where she was going to be performing and selling tickets through. But after they saw that her tour had low ticket sales, they started to consider cutting down the amount of shows that she would do out of fear that they might not sell and also cutting down the amount of money that they would be giving her per show. And now that she's completely called off her tour, this might affect the deal even more. Or maybe it's a strategy, who knows? Maybe they'll think that if she cancels this tour that her residency will skyrocket in numbers with people wanting to see her more because they didn't get to see her on tour. I could honestly see this being the case. I mean, when JLo first announced her tour and it wasn't selling, a lot of people were talking about how they felt like a Vegas residency would suit her better. And I could really see them trying to drive up the sales of the residency, especially if she's getting a million dollars a show. I feel like she would want that over the money that she's making from the tour because it hasn't been selling. And so maybe she's listening to the fans here and also following the dollar bills, but maybe this will actually all work out in the end for her because of the fact that more people will want to go to Vegas if she doesn't do this tour. Because imagine she does this tour, everybody who bought tickets already saw her, they're not gonna wanna go to Vegas. Just a thought, but I guess we'll just have to see what happens in this very dramatic world of JLo. But I wanna know what you guys think about all of this from her canceling her tour and what this means for her to the reasons she gave in that dang orange drink. What do you guys think about all this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. Oh, my God.